How do we sell married after two months of RV life? Would your marriage survive living full time in an RV? Post heck yes or heck no in the comments below. It's been real. We've been here for five weeks. Have you liked it? I loved it. My little grandson, Davey, this morning, when I was leaving, he held his hands out to me. And so the great thing is, though, we're coming back because we've Look got, what we're bringing with us. We've got a stowaway. Woohoo! Kaylee, you excited? I'm terrified that I'm going to mess up and put the diesel in the unleaded, in the unleaded and diesel because that monster takes diesel and that beast takes unleaded for the jetty. We're going to a harvest host. So you should, excited about harvest Our first host. one ever, we're gonna check it out. We'll let you know how it is. It's on the way to Oregon, so we're gonna stop there. It's actually in Oregon, but we're in Utah now. So we're gonna stop there first and check it out. We'll tell you all about it. I've offered to drive multiple times, but he's doesn't. As you know, women sh What am I allowed to say? You cut me off last time. I'll say something that's not myself. It's a delightful little drive. It's taking really long and I hate it. Six months later. We just spent our first night in a Harvest Host and it was kind of great. We just parked like right over there. We come inside, we have this kind of historic building that used to be a logging company. And let me, have, let me have Holly tell you about it. This is the Edward Hines Lumber Company. We purchased this building a couple years ago because we thought it would be fun to save it. We're a family-run business. I'm Mason Watson, co-owner of the Hines Pine Mill House. Me and my wife run it. We've spent the last two years here renovating the building, doing all the work ourselves, trying to keep the history of the mill and the logging era alive here in Hines, Oregon. And have turned it into a bed and breakfast. It used to be a lumber company office headquarters. This was the foundation foundation of Heinz. Edward Heinz came in and he built this building and established the mill in 1929 and they ran all the way up into the early 80s. Most of the decorations and stuff on the walls came from the mill or people that worked from the mill here. The L2 behind me here came from one of the storage sheds so we've been trying to maintain what's here and key part of the mill that's been going away present in the office building here. We have three girls here, three, six, and nine, Lena, Millie, and Elizabeth, and they've been helping with the renovations and keeping us entertained. Almost all of our stuff is handmade. My daughter and I do the jewelry making. We have local artists do chainsaw carvings. This is my favorite room. This is our sugar pine room. It has period furniture and it has a sink in your own room. My husband actually dropped this tree at his grandmother's house and milled it up and made the countertop. Harvest Hosts is a membership network of farms, museums, wineries, and more that gives RVers a place to stay overnight for free. There's a small annual fee to join the network and with our link in the description, you can save 15%. Our first experience with Harvest Hosts at Heinz Pine Millhouse was incredible. Holly and Mason are so stinking nice, it's ridiculous. And their girls are Adorable. We opted for a delicious home-cooked breakfast. I totally forgot how good waffles are. Indiana made some new friends, and we got way more than we expected. This guy's also a craftsman, so he's gonna make me a custom shelf. I need a new background for my studio. It'll be all barn wood, some puck lighting, and shelving, and just see what it turns into once we start building it. Will it be even better than Ikea? Yes, it'll, it'll, <laughs> it won't fall apart Is that possible? In 10 miles. <laughs> we need more things, so he's gonna make us some things to mount our lights up there and make me a custom nightstand that's even cooler than Leela's. We can make it happen. If you think Mason can make me a better nightstand than Leela's, go ahead and hit that like button right now. Stick around to the end of the video and we'll show you the nightstand and the shelf Mason came up with. One thing we said never to do is pull into places late at night in the dark. And, and, and it's really dark out here. <laughs> Hi, beautiful! <laughs> Grandma's missed you. <laughs> There's two cousins and they have something in common besides blonde hair and blue eyes. 
when we eat the marshmallows. <laughs> Two bottle banks. Hello! I'm yelling, Trevor! Trevor! There's like stuff just squirting, like squirting this whole line. And uh, what is that? That would be automatic transmission fluid, also known as hydraulic fluid, that apparently the fill line is right about here. Um, but I filled it when the jacks were down, which evidently was a mistake. Noob mistake 753. Sometimes you stop at really cool places with really cool people to have really cool food. And you bring Sephira. Hi. Currently on our way to Heinz Pines Mill House. It's Saturday at one o'clock. Ash, what are you in? <laughs> Saturday at 1 o'clock. What else would I be? Hey, what are you doing, helpful guy? Wearing a really sexy vest for my wife. We found a use for our gas station and our toy hauler. We don't have any toys, but those guys uh, down there, they ran out of gas. This harvest host is so good, we decided to come back so he could give us. I think he made something for us. What did you make for? Oh my God. Wow, that is amazing. Oh my God. Holy oh, cow. Wait. This is off L2, off the storage oh, no shed, way. off the mill. Way. The latch is off one of our windows off the building here. I'm jealous. It is the yeah. coolest piece of furniture I've ever seen in my life. Yes, I yes I know. I wish you would build me that piece. And check this out. Mason just made us a mantle. And here comes my nightstand. Like a glove, man. It's amazing. And now we're getting wall sconces. And guess what it's going to look like? It's going to look like... This is what that beautiful piece of furniture looks like as my new background. To make sure you catch our next adventure, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. To see where we've been so far, go ahead and smack that playlist up there. We can't wait to share our adventures with you.